Hi everybody, welcome to Solar Part 2. In today's video, I'm going to answer three questions. What are the universal components of a solar system? In general, what do those components do? And where do we put those components on our RV? Today is just going to be a general overview of the components. I'm going to go into many more specifics later on in future videos. As a disclaimer, I'm not a professional electrician. I have very little experience outside of this RV, but I've done hundreds of hours of research on solar power. I've been able to put together a system that we've used for the last six months, and we have never once had to run a generator, and we've never had to plug into shore power. Okay, let's get into it. The five components of a solar system are this. You have your solar panels, you have a charge controller, you have a battery bank, you have an inverter, and then you have a battery monitor. Solar panels absorb energy from the sun and convert that energy into electricity. Charge controllers do exactly what the name implies. They control the charge between the solar panels and the battery bank. The battery bank is the heart of the system. That's what stores all of the electricity being produced by the solar panels. Next up is the inverter. The inverter is kind of confusing, and I'm going to go into more detail on AC versus DC later, but a solar system is inherently DC power. And what an inverter does is it takes the DC power from your battery bank and it converts that from the 12 volt DC into 120 volt AC. And that's the type of power that any of your normal household appliances would need. The last universal component of a solar system is the battery monitor. This basically gives you a window into what is going into and out of your battery as far as energy is concerned. Okay, if that was confusing to you at all, I'm going to try to throw an analogy at you and keep in mind this is not a perfect analogy, but okay. So if you imagine a solar system like you would imagine a human body, all right, now that you got that, the eyes are the solar panels, the brain is your charge controller, the heart is your battery, the muscles are the inverter. So if you think of it in a sense of your brain, light goes into your eyes, it goes, sends a signal to your brain, which then allows the heart to pump, and when it pumps, it pumps blood, and you can, you can imagine blood as being energy. And so that pumps that blood to your muscles, and then your muscles convert that blood into something that's useful, which is a movement or an action. So if you think of it in terms of a body, that might help you out. It may not, but it might. To give you a perspective on where our components are located on the RV, we're on the passenger side of the RV right now, and that bar right there, those are our solar panels right there. Um, down here in the front sub bay, that is the charge controller, and then over here is our four battery battery bank. So that will give you a good idea of where our stuff is located on the outside. Now let's go inside and I'm going to show you where everything's located in there. This is the inverter. Uh, the stuff that came with it didn't allow us to mount it to a wall and we didn't want to lay it flat so we had to build this custom box and Jenny designed it and I built it and it works out really well because we just attached it to the wall behind the passenger seat and we get all of our power from that inverter. That is our battery monitor. We installed that just above our television in the corner behind the passenger seat. Remember when I said customization earlier? Yeah, I totally meant it. If you saw last week's video, you saw the custom job that we did on the solar panels, installing those on the roof. Well, it happened with every component. I am working on this. It's a little container for these guys. I have had a successful day. I got both of my battery holders constructed side by side. This will be my template for all of my battery holders. Um, so um, if I need to double the bank from four to eight on the other side of the RV, I will be able to do that. So this is gonna be, this is solid, sturdy, um, a really good way of doing this and super cheap. There is the finished product. Gives you a good idea of what I got going on. So you got underneath there, you have plenty of space for um, air to flow underneath, got plenty of gap in between, air can flow in between every single one of those. Customization is the name of the game. 
Every situation is different, so make sure you do your research so you can figure out which solar system is best for your specific setup. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it down below, comment, subscribe, share. There's going to be lots more videos like it. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye.